Hey guys, today let's play a game of Diablo Hellfire. So this is the expansion pack to Diablo that was released in uh, 1997. So Diablo 1 was released in 1996 and this expansion came out a year later. Uh, what's interesting about this expansion is not developed by Blizzard, it's actually developed by uh, a Sierra studio. So it's not an official first party uh, expansion, but it's considered to be, um, well most you know, bundles of Diablo actually include Hellfire, so it's it's considered like a semi-official thing, where it's not developed by the first party, but it's actually, you know, usually bundled in with the original game. So, uh, yeah, I think it's interesting. I never actually played Hellfire before. I played the original Diablo way back when I was a kid, but I got too scared because it was a really creepy game. So I never really finished that game. Um, but yeah, I remember my dad would bring home Diablo in 1990s. Yeah, 1996 when it was released. Um, it's one of the few games that we actually had the CD for back then, and I just, I tried playing it, but it was just, yeah, really, really freaking creepy and scary at the time for me, because I was a small kid. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't really finish the game, but I never tried Hellfire before, so it's my first time. So let's start, try it out, Hellfire. So you got four classes here, Warrior, Rogue, Sorcerer, and Monk. Of course, Diablo 2, after it came out, would add on to these classes. But this is the regional Diablo 1, um... Plus Hellfire expansion, so I forget the Hellfire actually added a new class or not. It was it the monk that he added? It was the monk. Okay. Normal nightmare or hell? Yeah, we do normal. Oh, you know what? I really do remember this. <laughs> yes, yeah, this is what the original Diablo looked like. Yeah, so as you can tell, it's uh, it's very, very... I mean, it's actually pretty good, considering this is the first iteration of Diablo. But yeah, you've got an isometric style view. Uh, I would say similar to a lot of Dungeons and, Ar and Dragons RPGs at the time, and uh, to Fallout as well. So there's some other RPGs that came out at the same time. I do not have a spell ready. I do not have a spell ready. But man, it's been a long time since I played this game. Ooh. Diablo 2 is definitely better than Diablo 1. That's why most people like Diablo 2. It's, but Diablo 2 is considered the best out of the series, right? So. Well, what can I do for you? Uh, sometimes I think that kid talks too much. Yeah. My basic items. So you got cap, short sword, long sword. I only got 100 gold right now. 100 gold comes and stuff. Yeah. Premium items. Yeah, these are all way too expensive for me. I guess these all have magical abilities. Yeah, that's too expensive. Alright, let's take the shop. Kane the Hello, other. my friend. Stay a while and, and listen. listen. Yeah. Ah, Pepin. I. The music, man. <laughs> the music. What ails you, my friend? I have made a very. Oh yeah, let's get some healing items. Yep, we should have healing. I got 50 gold left. Yeah, that's as cheap as potion too. As cheap as potion is pretty expensive too. Um, yeah, I remember when I was a kid, I played this game and I was like totally freaked out by how creepy it was. <laughs> that's why I didn't play very long. Thank goodness you. Um, yeah, they start out in this town and then you go to the dungeons after. Good day. How may I serve you? The woman at the edge of town is a witch. She seems nice enough and her name is I don't like the scrolling text box. I'd rather just prefer to have all the text in front of me. Like, yeah. I don't know. I guess Planescape Torment came out maybe like two or three years after, three years after this, I think. Yeah, that one was done way better. Yeah, Planescape Torment is actually one of the most underrated, I think, isometric RPGs. That's what, that one's arguably better than even Fallout series, Fallout 1 and 2. It doesn't get mentioned as, as often, though. But, um, and Diablo 2, obviously, is just one of the all-time greatest RPGs, not just isometric. Alright, we have to go to the dungeon. Please, listen to me. The Archbishop Lazarus. He led us down here to find the lost prince. Bastard led us into a trap. Now everyone is dead, killed by a demon he called the Butcher. Oh, oh yeah, the Butcher. 
Oh man, okay. Well, I the do sanctity this. of this place has been fouled. I remember why I got was I was so scared when I was a kid <laughs> when I played this game. Cause look at the creepy atmosphere, man. The low lighting, the creepy vibe. Oh man. And look at skeletons and stuff like that. Oh yeah. And look at the music and everything. It just adds to the creepy vibe. I do not have a spell ready. My character and everything's in real time. Okay, that's it's action RPG, so everything's in real time. <laughs> Fast-paced combat is a little bit different than RPGs I've ever done. Let's click on things, okay. So, R plus 7 to hit, that's all my um, base attributes. And then there's any like modifiers, life mana, request to hit, resist, experience next level, okay. That's, also, that's all my stats and attributes. Correct my quest. And then I have a mini map here. Is actually pretty useful. There we go. Inventory, which I only have a short staff right now. And I'm, even though I'm a monk, I don't have any spells right now. I do not have a spell ready. Uh, okay. Man, coming back to this game after such a long time. It's been a while since I played Diablo 1 and Hellfire. Right? Never played Hellfire, but it's been a long time since I played Diablo 1, though I got into motion. Alright. Oh, Stay a while and listen. Stay a while and listen. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Hold on. Oh, you guys click every time, it doesn't continuously click, but uh, sharpness increases the damage potential. Okay. Excuse it. Yeah, I thought I would just hold down left mouse click and you know, the, uh, continue attacking, but it doesn't. <laughs> Most of my damage came from the barrels so far. <laughs> nope, you gotta left click a lot. I don't think it's yeah, you have to pick every time, you can't hold it down. It's a little bit less convenient. In Diablo 2, I think you can hold it down. You turn it to gold now. You turn it to gold when I say you turn it to gold. since Diablo 1, huh? Diablo 2 is considered by many people to be the best one. And then Diablo 3 is a very polarizing game, I would say. I like Diablo 3, but a lot of Diablo hardcore fans, like Diablo 2 fans, didn't like Diablo 3. It's maybe because it dumbed down a lot of the aspects. It's kind of like how a lot of people like me didn't like Fallout 4. Because Fallout 4 really dumbed down a lot of the aspects compared to Fallout 3 in New Vegas. So, yeah, same thing, I guess. Yeah, Fallout 4 is also very polarizing, I'd say, because it's more of a first-person shooter, but it's less of an RPG. So I, a lot of people like New Vegas and 3 better. And then for me, I like New Vegas the best of all. Technically Outer Worlds now, since Outer Worlds is the spiritual successor to Fallout New Vegas. Yeah. Uh, but 
yeah, Diablo 1, I don't think anyone really considers Diablo 1 the best one. I mean, everyone who thinks about Diablo 1, Diablo 2 is just strictly better, so. And then Diablo 3 is for people who are uh, really, I guess, it's good for beginners. For newbies to RPGs, Diablo 3 is actually really easy to pick up. But um, a lot of hardcore RPG fans prefer Diablo 2. Yeah. Diablo 1 is not really mentioned. <laughs> Yeah. They did a pretty decent job with the first iteration though, I mean, pretty much the basic elements of Diablo are all here. It's a pretty uh, decent iteration, 1-8, 2-3, let's see if I'm better with the sword. Yeah, pretty decent for the first iteration. And I think it's really Diablo and Warcraft that put Blizzard on the map, right? Those are, I would say, the two games that really made Blizzard famous, Diablo and Warcraft. Because after Warcraft came Starcraft, obviously, which became a huge big hit. Then Warcraft 2 and 3, obviously, were big hits as well, but yeah, Diablo 2, right? So all of Diablo 2, Starcraft, and Warcraft 3, I would say, are the three games that really made Blizzard into a powerhouse juggernaut company. It's, it's Diablo 1 and um, Warcraft 1 that really started the entire franchise, right? That started the entire uh, company. So, I, I gotta give it the props. They're not the best games in the series, okay? Diablo 1 and Warcraft 1 are not the best games in those series, but you gotta give them props for being the pioneer games. Right? We all know Warcraft 3, Starcraft, and Diablo 2 were the ones that made the, the studio. Those are the ones that made Blizzard into what it is, but Got to acknowledge the pioneers, man. So this game being kind of a pioneering kind of game. Really, you're competing at this point. You're competing with Dungeons and Dragons. You're competing with, um, yeah, games like that. There's a lot of wizardry, Dungeons and Dragons, um, Might and Magic, Elder Scrolls. Those are the type of game RPGs that you're competing with at the time. And this is quite a bit different than those things. Obviously, gameplay is an action RPG. So it's a little bit different. It's not a first person game. Not a first person RPG. So. The healing. Ooh, that heal everything. That's, that's actually better than the potion. We probably should have saved that. Look at all this gold. It's a gold room. Gold room. So, what I gotta do? I gotta find the butcher, right? Okay. I think just like Rogue, Diablo has randomly generated dungeons, so it's different every time. So, I guess it shares that in common with uh, roguelike games, like NetHack and Hangman. Of course, this is a uh, much more updated version of those games, but it's essentially what it is. I mean, roguelikes are kind of trendy, so... randomly generated every time, I think. Now, let me get back. Get back to the 
back out, get a better weapon. What ails you, my friend? Yes, automatic heal. Alright, so I got 390 gold now. I need a better weapon. Wow, what can I do for you? What you got? Mags of Thorns, Fine Cage, Sword of Magic. Sword of Dexterity. Hmm, it's still too expensive. Long Staff. Okay, this might be good. No armor? I guess. Yeah, not much armor. It's better than nothing, I guess, by that. Uh, a lot of staff here, so I'm gonna sell my stuff too. Wow, what can I do for you? The light I know of this vile demon. Potion of full healing. All I have is the potions of full. I just need a scroll of healing. I can only buy one at a time. That's pretty much it. It's not like Fallout or like other isometric RPGs where it's like turn-based and you have to use action points and stuff like that. That's a little bit more complicated, but I understand why Diablo is so popular. All you have to do is just click on these guys. Very fast-paced. 
relatively speaking. Right? So, pretty easy to play. So just pick it up and they'll learn, I guess. Easy to just pick up and play it. And easy to get into. And of course, when you add multiplayer support, right, especially with Diablo 2, you're going to understand that uh, Diablo 2 is a little bit more faster paced than Diablo 1. And uh, I can understand why people like it so much. Let's get a group of friends, right? Get some cool characters and grind them together. Go to different dungeons and stuff. Please, it's a bit of a Oh, shit. 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 No. No. Ah, oh, the butcher killed me. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, here's pretty hard. They need to grind it a little bit more. But anyways guys, that's Diablo Hellfire, um, Diablo 1, uh, so yeah, it's been a while since I played this game, but I think it's not the best Diablo, it's a little bit more slower paced, uh, it's not as convenient with some of the stuff as Diablo 2, uh, I think most people consider Diablo 2 to be just better than Diablo 1, or Hellfire, but, um, I mean, it's still pretty good for what it is for the time, we're talking about 90, 1996, 1997, very primitive multiplayer support, so, I mean, for the time, I think Diablo is a very uh, influential game, so, anyways guys, yep, Diablo 1 in Hellfire, that's a uh, pretty good RPG for the time, I would say, so, anyways guys, you can pick it up on GOG, that's it, thanks for watching.